uh, cancel death noodles. It's a sad day when Keemstar is proven to be correct. I'm back, motherfucker. So to lock your account, you must do the following. Fill the room with the juice. Oh, that's a lot of loot. Uh, that bit fire. Uh, yeah, she kind of cute. don't need any more new big shots. You guys, listen. I'm so out of the loop, which I'm sure you're fully aware. My channel is dying and it will continue to die. But guess who isn't dying? Me. So I don't care, right? But I didn't know about any of this at all whatsoever. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, hi, my name is Pearl and uh, you made it. I don't know how, but you made it. So I'm coming across this video. And it's been a while since I've done like a reaction reaction, meaning a reaction channel reacting to a reaction channel. Yes, that actually exists. And yes, we do it here sometimes. So Papa Gut, I come across like Def Noodles was unbanned from Twitter. I was like, was that because of Elon Musk or like what's going on? So I'm in the comments before I'm even thinking of filming or hitting record, whatever you want to call it, right? Simultaneously thinking about how my skin is at the worst it's ever been right now. I don't know what is going on, but it won't stop peeling, you guys. Like, and I know it's because of that treatment I added, but like, my skin is peeling. Like, it's it's to the point where I can't wear makeup. Like, I actually, it doesn't make sense to make wear makeup because you you just looking at it and you're like, girl. Anyways, Def Noodles tries way too hard. The problem is he doesn't have to ignore. He doesn't have the knowledge to back up his rambling. I think it's hilarious that he blamed Keemstar for being suspended on Twitter. You guys, anyways, so we're gonna hop in here pretty quickly. Honestly, I, I need a distraction. I've had a pretty busy day today and I've just been kind of like mentally just all over the place. Also, I, the way I'm not eating, you guys, like listen, in the next month, okay? If you see that I look very small, like if, if you can just tell, oh, that girl done lost some weight, I can see her bones. Like it's happening because I am not even eating Oreos right now. And it's not even because I don't wanna eat Oreos. Literally, I just don't feel the need to eat Oreos, which I do blame medication. Cause obviously anyone who knows that's on depressive medication knows that that medication is gonna make you wanna eat. And when you're not on it, you don't wanna eat. So I haven't ate all day. I've only had one waffle today, like a protein waffle and that's it. So yeah, your girl is just trying, okay? We're hanging in there. So doctor appointment tomorrow. Hopefully I can get some Adderall and really get uh, to where I need to be because I really need to hone in on like my focus. My focus is all over the place. It's just so bad as you can probably tell. I mean, obviously I did say we we're about to watch this video, didn't I? But I've been rambling for the past two minutes. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, anyways, let's hop in here. I haven't watched um, Papa Gut in quite some time. And so this will be really interesting for me. Plus it's like, what's even going on here? Why was he unbanned? And I haven't watched Death in so long. Let's hope, let, I'm, let me be nice, okay? That's what we need to do. We need to be nice. Well, here's the bigger news is that uh, Death Noodles is violating his affiliate. By dual streaming on Twitch and YouTube, guys. Cancel Death Noodles because you dual can't do that. Dual streaming? Oh, Maybe you in can't. the summer they'll allow you to do that. Can't wait for it because frankly, I want to dual stream. You can only do it in the summer. Anyway, what? All jokes aside, is he affiliate? Yes, you have to be affiliate to get donations, and he has a subscribe button. But I don't care about that. <laughs> anyway, okay. Dennis is back. Yes, and we're all show. happy. That's what we're doing. And yes, we're restarting the segment. I'm going to do another intro. I don't like it anyway. Anyway, Dennis is back and we're all happy. We're all he's back happy. back on Twitter. Sorry. He's back on Twitter. He's doing his thing. And I actually am happy for him. Good. I don't know why exactly he was banned, but we're going to find out soon. Aren't you a good person? But I'm happy for him. I think it's great. The only thing that I think is a problem mm -hmm. is I think this is going to uh, wreak havoc on his mental health. Oh, I yes. <laughs> honestly. Oh, yes, I mean, it is. Because here's the thing. We've seen a few bits of him talking about how Keemstar's really just apparently even like some kind of it's not even just that you guys like twitter really is a cesspool like it really really is i will never forget and oh my god by golly i hope those enemies are watching now baby so why did these girls attack me on twitter for absolutely no reason and like these were people i was friends with for a very very long time okay like at least one of them i was friends with for like a very long time the other two they're just like associates if you will don't care about them and yeah you know who you are. And so they're talking about me on Twitter, talking about some, we need to send this girl back to Africa. She needs to be hung by a tree. Like, like just all racist, very much like this is a monkey. Look at this gorilla reposting my face. Like very much like cyberbullying, right? 
And like, I remember it just got to a point where I was like, I'm deleting this app. Like, you know what I mean? Like I deleted my, my Twitter. I got off of it for, I don't even know how long. And then I remember like, I went through another, like something, something else emotional happened and I ended up deleting it again. And then I deleted it too long to where I didn't reactivate it and then I lost the entire thing and then I had to make a whole brand new one. So if you ever wondered what happened to my Twitter, that's what happened. Kind of psychological torture on, on this on this guy. It's so bad. Um, and so now he can engage in the Twitter drama again. Yep. And I know he's feeling really good because he's back now, but that feeling will fade and it's, I think it's just gonna turn into like a, uh, 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 an absolute storm. It's gonna go crazy. What? We'll see. But hey, look, it's not my mental health. It's just content for me, I guess. <laughs> I'm not even keeping up, child. Anyway, Luke, I'm trying, y'all. I'm not even. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll have a nice one as long as you don't yell. Is he really about to like be on? Uh, anyway, what? he stays yelling. Apparently, this <laughs> account here. Yeah. Allie, which apparently they follow me. I think. Let's see. Do they follow me? They follow me. Of course. Why wouldn't they follow me? I'm done. Oh, with I'm gonna look into them after this. This isn't what it was about. Does anyone know Papa oh, Guts Zodiac okay, sign? Because I can't with him sometimes. Anyway, they apparently watched the whole live stream. God bless you, because I certainly wasn't going to. And they talk about that. Apparently, they say, this is what it says, breaking. Deaf Noodle suspension was related to content involving Millie, Bobby Brown, and not Keemstar. Like, he's led his audience into believing for almost a year. Okay, mm -hmm. let's give it a watch. Now, I know that there was a really big conversation about, like, over-sexualizing Millie, Bobby Brown, especially, like, right when she turned 18. Yeah cannot imagine that Dennis would be like trying to actively contribute to that. He might have been reporting on it and they might have like I don't know. You know, I'm just trying to come into this with, with positive intentions. Clearly. Um, <laughs> let's see this. I, I uh, ended up just tweeting something else. I'm back, motherfucker. So this is what I first saw and I'll I'll show it to the screen. I don't know if uh, we're gonna try to look at that in like a second. I can't even take this seriously. I can't even take this seriously. Because it's like first of all you really think that there are people just like ooh. Maybe I need to think of myself that highly. Maybe I need to think like, yeah, I'm back, y'all. Like, y'all see me? Like, mm-hmm, yeah, I'm back. Like, what? Like, were people really checking and waiting for the day for, you know, Dennis to have his Twitter back? Like, is it that? Let me shut up. Read it. Let me shut up. It says, I can't read it. It, it says, uh, your account has been locked. Um, and before, it wouldn't show me anything. It was just like, you're permanently suspended. Would I have a debate with me, Keem and Def? Sure. Did Keem started joking. Oh, I think he was serious. Talking about a, con a, 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 a podcast with Def Noodles. I don't know how that would go. I would let it. But see I would, it. I would, I would, I would mediate a conversation between the two. But they probably Ooh. wouldn't, because there's an illegitimate legal battle going on. That's all I would say. Uh, and it says we have determined that your account violated the Twitter rules, specifically for violating our child sexual exploitation policy. Uh, you may not post content that violates our child uh, sexual exploitation policy, regardless of intent, posting, retweeting, or linking to such content is strictly uh, prohibited on Twitter. Repeated violation will result in permanent suspension of your... So last, uh, the last year at this time, I think she was 17. What I'm going to assume, and I could be wrong, is that he might have been reporting on somebody. I, it might have even been people like, I can't wait for her to turn 18. But here's my thing, been. is that Dennis don't care. That's that's my thing, is that that's, that's the overall, like, constant, um, what do you call it, conclusion. <laughs> it's the end chapter, the outro. He doesn't care. He never shows that he cares. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Do people think he cares? He doesn't give me caring energy. He doesn't give me... No, 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 no. He gives me like competition. Like he gives me like, all right, I need to post a video today. I need, I need, I need to make sure that you know my views are up. And okay, yeah, I'm back on Twitter. Like okay, let's go for Keemstar now. Look up. Like he just, he doesn't give me. Um, let me sit down for a week and really think about this video idea and really go into depth because I really want to show my audience like where my brain is in this subject. Does he give you that energy? I don't think so. Uh, uh been reporting on that and probably saying it's a bad thing and then that must have been what triggered it because a lot of people were like really uh upset that millie bobby brown was getting and she was upset too rightfully so so maybe that's what happened account so it said what you can do uh, as a result we have locked your account and it says okay. what oh. you can do is you unlock your account you must do the following delete the content that violates our rules one tweet so this is the tweet in question um, I'm going to show it to yeah, the screen. Thanks I, so I, much. My Steph. notifications are going crazy on Twitter. Thank you so much, Dev. We could definitely see that on the screen. Incredible. Twitter now, but 
Whoa, what is that? Oh my god, their <laughs> notification. It's, uh, no, for oh, real though, and like, uh, is there someone standing behind oh, him? Uh, so I'll read it. Um, no, I can't read it from here. It says, it's like Austin so Powers. The tweet or... is, I don't know how many of you remember this, Dr. Evil, uh, Dr. Evil. but about a year ago, uh, there was a scandal with Millie Bobby Brown. Okay. She was, uh, people found out that she was dating this guy who was like in his mid 20s. Well, when she was like four, 15 or 16, right? Oh, really? Who is that? Let's see. How old was he? Millie Bobby Brown. What are we talking about, Drake? But even the way that... I'm dead, not Drake. Even the way that Dennis said that, like, it shows he doesn't care. Do you know what I mean? Like, even the way he's explaining it, like, I don't know if you guys remember, but, you know, this is what happened, and, you know, she was this age, and he was this age, and, like, exactly. But, like, if you cared in that moment, meaning, like, you actually cared, I don't even think it would have went up. And let me explain why. You're doing it for shock value. You're doing it for like, oh, I'm the first person to lead out the story. I'm the first person to talk about this or, you know, people want to know my take or my point. So like you want to be the person to be like, oh, let me make sure, I, you know, I, I tweet this or I say this. And it's like, no one asked. No one asked. And another thing is like Dennis doesn't have like a like a focus and I get it. I, I don't really either. I like to make sure that I talk about anything or whatever. Like, I, I don't know, like I personally choose what I want to talk about on my channel. There are times where I'll focus into other little like aspects, but I feel like Dennis is just like all over the board. Like he can talk about like famous people then he'll talk about politics and he's talking about Keemstar and it's like, you know what I mean? So it's like, again, you don't give me like I care energy. He just doesn't, I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> That's her dating history. That little laugh right after I said <laughs> that so was a little sorry. weird. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck you, Drake. All right. Uh, I don't know what they're referring to. I guess I'll look into it. Um, I don't really know. Who are they referring to? Um, I don't in know. In fact, the guy lived in her house. Her parents had consent from her parents and all this stuff. And um, the guy, once his her parents kicked the guy out. Who's the guy? Out of their house. And doesn't care. He just, like talks and like you know like there's a difference of like okay i'm gonna be a very detail-oriented you know, person and here's the facts of this and then this happened and that happened but like dennis doesn't do it like that and if he does it is very easy to go to his content and tell that like he has structured this out like okay i'm gonna talk about this in this moment i'm gonna talk about this in this moment i'm gonna talk about this in this moment i i can guarantee there's probably times where he says something and then he like stops and then he says it again cuts it out and like it, like I don't want to say he's calculated. Actually, I do want to say that because most men are. Let's be real. Most men are calculated and logical. So it's just, I, let me be quiet. Followers, <laughs> Jeff, tell me the name of the guy. His name's Hunter Echo. He did a lot. Oh, hey, he listened. Hey, he listened. That. I was surprised. He listened to me. All right. Thank you, Def. Wow, <laughs> you're so, you're incredible. You're incredible. It says he's 21 now and she's 18. So I feel like who, that's not. Good Lord. <laughs> really a problematic age gap it's not a problematic age gap at all about that? that's really not that big of a deal uh, wait let me read this real quick okay because i like listen look in the left look in the left let's just pause look in the left of this frame is that not bernie mac is that not bernie mac on the left tell me that ain't bernie mac that's like Bernie Mac in that movie with Ashton Kutcher, ain't it? Wait, he's 21 as of 2021, so 2022. Like, why Wait. is my attention to detail so strong right now? January 2000. I don't know. So they're like right along. So four years. Mm, okay. It's not a big you know, deal. Listen, I think it's uncomfortable. I don't think people should be engaging in a four-year age. I think you shouldn't even talk like, about 15, it. 15, 19, not a big fan. But not I your business. Like, say that he's like some kind of a, a, a horror I think he could have left that, that when you tweet leave out. the internet world. People are more okay with that, like based on our, and I, I think we should advocate against it, but we should also understand like people aren't like predators for, for, for that kind of age gap. Mm -hmm. But okay, um, still a little bit of sussy, sure. Super okay. sus, right? I stream on Instagram saying the most like disgusting shit ever. Oh, did uh, he? About Millie, you know, like she was a minor then, like she's a, she, she okay. just turned yeah, 18 gross. like three or four months ago. She was ago. 17. So she was 17. Um, Five months ago. And he's like in his twenty something. So in this live stream, he's saying like stuff like, "Oh, she gave great head for a minor," oh, yeah, and all this yeah, shit. Yeah, like yeah, that's really gross. pedophilic Whoa, shit. Whoa, that's freaking um, crazy. So I shared the live stream. Oh, There's you shared it about grooming her. I oh, you're bold. Like, oh, well, I don't know if I'm sharing. Like it doesn't show anything. I would just talk about it's just it. But this guy. I don't know if I'd share that. Millie's ex on the pool saying these things. 
So yeah, that's why. Gross. Okay. Yeah, somebody said I. Oh, uh, did he link that? Oh, he must have signal boosted that and said this was bad. Yeah, there we go. That's how I got my. And the, and the, but my thing is, why couldn't you just talk about it? Why'd you Why'd you have to retweet it? I feel like that only happened because of privilege. Because honestly, there has been so many times. I mean, oh my gosh, should we even talk about? Okay, so I'm going to just say these words. Twitter, black Twitter, Joe Biden, Hunter. I'm going to just say those four, those four words together, okay? So if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. So somebody sent me a picture of you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Biden. So when they sent me this picture, I screenshotted it. After I screenshotted it, I did not send it nowhere. I didn't put it on my close friends. I'm not going to put it here. I'm not going to do anything with it, but I still have it. I still know. See what I'm saying? But the person that sent it to me, you know what they did? Unsent it, deleted it, because they didn't want to be caught being the person that was sending it. Why? I'm not saying it's because he black, but I'm just saying, you know, when you're black, you just gotta, you, you do things in a different way where you're like, wait, like, let me make sure, like, because people are gonna come for you and it's going to be the worst, like, decision compared to if it was someone else, right? So if, if, if Sally, stole a candy bar but tyrone stole a candy bar i'm sorry but like most likely tyrone's gonna get you know he's gonna get more trouble right so the way that people's brains are set up is very it's just, I, don't, I don't know like i don't know but you know let me know your opinion on that that's personally like how i see it but like it's just like well why would you do that you should have just talked about it that's what i would have done i would have talked about it separately and then if people didn't believe me then i could bring the video in but you just doing that, just and then you know you're a news source. You're not thinking. You're just like, I don't care. Like, oh my god, I need to be the first one. Like that. That's how you got here, bro. Um, like alt TikTok account banned. I had like a 600k, and I, I showed the video of uh, Zoe. You too, actually. That's man, how you got there too. Um, which was like <laughs> disgusting, and they banned me for like child protective whatever. So, mm -hmm. saucy, you know. But that dude's live stream. Um, so yeah. So that is why I got banned on Twitter. I, I mean, I have my suspicions that it has. More, it has to do with more than that, right? Well, like what? Keep, right, like Keemstar. Keemstar? Like, come on. I think that that Look. that makes sense to me. They are very, they'll generally be very aggressive about that stuff, especially since a lot of platforms, Twitter, TikTok, they have problems with like actual pedophilia shit getting pushed on there. Mm -hmm. So like when they see something that they, they're like, oh, we gotta get rid of this. Mm -hmm. So that's probably what it was. Yeah, I'm surprised you were on band to be honest with you. Same. That's the re Did I say? Sorry, I'm a little tired. Yeah, he was a child. It was a 13 year old. My bad. You're right. I. <laughs> When I say call somebody a young man, it's like a sign of respect. But I, I'm a little tired. You're right. I shouldn't have said young man. She was 19. He was 13. It was disgusting. Yeah. Um, that wasn't me. That wasn't me trying to mature him. That was me just trying to be like, respectful of him. But no, she kissed a kid. Sorry. That, I'm fucking tired. Who kissed like, a kid? I didn't mean to speak of it like that. I'm confused now. I thank you for correcting me. Like, that was a good... Thank you. I'm like, I'm wait. Like, it's, it's... Are we talking about Millie and the guy that's in his 20s? Or are we talking about Millie and, and some 13-year-old boy? Or... Explain to me, because you already know I'm, I'm not going to sit here and try to figure it out. You guys just let me know, and then we'll talk about it in the next one. Yeah. So it's almost 1 in the morning, okay? I've been going to sleep around 12 o'clock, so. The reason that I got from Twitter. No, no, no I, think I appreciate you, you, you clarifying that. So, I mean, it's kind of sus um, okay. that that's the reason why. I mean, I, I wasn't sharing fucking. I mean, there, it, Twitter is known for there being, like, literal accounts that all day, all they do is link drives and, and to videos that... Yeah, you know, yeah. Well, that's why they're so aggressive against us. Okay, yeah. You know what? How does he um, even know that? To be honest, it's with like that. That's so weird to me that he knows that. It's weird to me that 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 he knows that. That he's like, yeah, yeah. What? You guys know that on Twitter they just be. I didn't know that until right now. Why are y'all even checking for it? <sighs> Let me shut up. You, you probably deserve. Well, you didn't do it on purpose, but I can see why they banned you. I can definitely I see why they banned you. For sure. You I wouldn't go as far to say that you deserve the ban. What is this? Couple people. I do. You know, yeah. actually, or even if you're, a quote -unquote you're being person, careless with your platform you and yeah. your so influence. You, it's right? annoying. Yeah. The moment that you attack back, they're like, oh, no, you're too powerful to attack back. I don't care for it. Every okay, time yeah. I see that, man, I'm um, like, token yeah, like black, saying, man, hello. Like, uh, you know, I, I think what? it's good that he got off, man. I don't, what is this? Wait, what, what is this? Is this the post they were talking about? Did you not delete it, Def? Okay. Okay, so I guess he was six, whatever. I, I don't really care about rehashing it. Yeah, he was, seems like, okay, listen, I, I, I think it's good that he was unbanned because he didn't say anything probably negative about it. He wasn't trying to be negative about it. 
but it's actually like directly correlated. Look, the last thing he posted before 13 hours ago was from July 13, 2021, about Millie Bobby Brown. It's 100 percent about that. There's no question about that. Mm-hmm. He was pushing the idea that it was uh, with Keemstar. I, I maybe I can understand why because Keemstar said something along the lines of his DMs and about like coming to get him or whatever. I don't really know. It wasn't that exactly, but. I remember seeing it. No, the reason like, I, my thing is the reason he keeps blaming Keemstar is Keemstar was right. Keemstar was right. He was right in the aspect of like, well, like they're gonna come get you kind of thing. And then he doesn't like that. He didn't like that because he was like, well, what, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just doing my job kind of thing. And it's like, well, no, you're using your platform carelessly. Like that's what you're. That's ultimately what you're doing. It was like, yeah, and that's what, what Keemstar, Keemstar was Star, saying. Maybe basically, Keemstar, right? Uh, was out to get him. Either way, very clearly. Isn't. Either way. But one thing I will say is that it's very clear to me. I don't think that privilege everywhere. The one thing I will say is that he that Def got it wrong very clearly about why he was banned, but okay. I do not think he intentionally well, lied. Right. Of this seems to not. be news to him because if he was intentionally lying, then he wouldn't have self he wouldn't have embarrassed himself by telling people the real reason why. So, you know, he, he, I don't think that it was intentional. Um, either way, you know, it clearly wasn't Keemstar. Dude, we're talking about Keemstar every day, I feel like. Right. Oh, like I'm so over it. Nobody else do something. Can't but do there it. is a response to Keemstar. He says he didn't just lead his audience to the conclusion. He should have said it was, I was a reason. And I was attacked by his fans over and over again for false allegation. of Facts. Taking down his work. Okay, there you go. Well, Let's that'll help your lawsuit. At this point, Def, you should probably, you should probably... Drop the lawsuit because it's not going to help you, brother. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Yeah, Another let's actually do that. And is he really going to still go through with it? Is he really going to try to go through with it? <laughs> My thing is why, okay? I honestly... When are we going to be at the timeline when the people who are at the top of the YouTube streets are not cisgender white men. I'm just asking. Anybody have an answer? I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Because sometimes all I see is privilege when I'm listening to these people. Like that's it. I'm literally just seeing privilege. People who don't notice their privilege, they don't see their privilege. And sometimes it drives me crazy. Like one time I was on a date with this white guy 6'5", cute, blue-eyed, and he really was like, I'm telling you, I have no privilege in this, in this, I, I don't. And I was like, oh, yes, you do. I know you don't think you do, but you do, even statistically you do. And he's like, no, I don't. I grew up poor. And it was just one of those things where I'm just like, I can't even have a conversation with you because you literally, I can't, like, you don't even see it. Anyways, y'all, I'm out of here. Let me know what y'all thought about this video. I know it's been a while. I'll definitely be doing something else, meaning like I kind of want to change. Damn. I kind of want to change my content up a little bit and do like more story times and just more like things that have gone on within like experiences and stuff. So let me know. Either way, if you made it all the way to the end, let me know, please. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'm going to go wash this off and I will see y'all all in my next one and i cannot wait until i get my hair done because oh my gosh i feel so ugly right now <laughs>